हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रिंस ऑटोमेशन डेस्टिनेशन दिस सेड प्रिंस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन योर टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यूज सो बेस्ड ऑन माय एक्सपीरियंस विद मोर देन थ्री फिफ्टी कैंडिडेट्स दैट आई हैव इंटरव्यूड सो फार आई सी दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल स्ट्रगल इन एक्सप्लेनिंग द टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क इवन दो दे हैव वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड दे आर यूजिंग the framework in their day to day life right so this is where this particular video is going to help you and will help you understand how you can explain your test automation framework so let us jump onto the slides right so uh, before we move on as part of current discussion i would be discussing on test ng framework like how we can explain a test ng framework then i'll be creating a separate video on how to explain bdd cucumber based framework right so how a typical test ng framework look like so first of all we will have one build tool like right? we'll be creating a project and uh, while creating the project we'll be choosing a build tool it could be maven gradle right so as a result if we are creating a maven project then we will have pom.xml right test ng.xml is for the purpose of uh, running the test cases right and um, like when we create a project with maven we will have this structure so at root level we will have src main and src test and as under src main there are two sections src main java and src main resources and under src test as well there are two sections src test java and src test resources right uh, generally this src main section is utilized by developers and src test section is utilized by developer to write the unit test cases but from test automation perspective we use it to write pages driver manager utilities global constants which would be accessible from main as well as from test right then under src main resources we can define the configuration dot properties for main classes right whatever we are defining here coming to the test part right where we are writing the test classes so we'll be creating separate packages then we will have test utils uh, which are specific to test uh, uh, test only right then test constants then listeners reporters right coming to src test resources right we will have test data folder will be keeping a uh, json file excel file config dot properties also will be defining to read the parameters json also will be defining right so what all resources are there that we are going to define here right so this is how a typical test ng framework look like now coming to the tips and tricks right so when you start explaining the test automation framework first of all try to understand this is the entry point right because every interviewer expects that a candidate should be able to explain their automation framework right this opens up the door to the further discussion right because here the interviewer gets the confidence in candidate if he'll be able to explain it if he won't be able to explain then the interviewer lose the interest and you may not be selected right so it becomes important right so first of all as soon as you are asked that explain your test automation framework take your time and you need to be structured and organized i have experienced like people go here where meaning they start explaining one part then start explaining other part so don't go in that fashion right it won't help you much so we'll have to follow step by step right so we'll have to go step by step right so then you can talk about what is the type of test automation framework it is is it test ng bdd or hybrid approach that you have used what is the tech stack like uh, you're using java which version of java then maven selenium test ng extend or chain test report right you are using ci cd then which tool you are using jenkins or gitlab or any other tool right then you can uh, like uh, discuss about which type of project is it right so generally it would be either maven project or gradle project in case you are working in java based framework right so as soon as you will create a maven project you will have pom.xml now you can start discussing about uh, the purpose and uh, dependencies of pom.xml right so pom.xml is for the purpose of defining the dependencies that we need right so for example we need selenium in selenium test automation framework we would need test ng right for execution and for assertions if it is cucumber based framework then we'll have cucumber right if we are going to use extend report then Uh, we will be mentioning about extend report if it is chain test report we can mention all these right so uh, this is what we need to define about the pom.xml right now we can talk about the folder structure right so as we discussed that in a typical test automation framework when we create a maven project it would be src main and src test and under src main there are two sections src main java and src main resources src test java and src test resources so i have experienced like people start explaining the packages right so instead of start explaining the packages first of all we should be clear in uh, mind that 
uh, what is the folder structure, right? This will give the impression to the interviewer, like where exactly you have written the packages, right? Now you have defined the folder structure. Next thing is you can talk about the packages, right? So you can talk about the pages as it is a UI automation framework, right? So you can talk about the pages where you'll be maintaining the page object model. You can talk about the oops concept that you're implementing, like you have base page, then you have login page, dashboard page, which are extending base page to utilize the common functionalities, right? So you can talk about driver manager where you are like defining uh, like your driver using singleton along with thread save or whatever way you are initializing your driver, right? But this is the standard for creating a driver, right? Using singleton along with thread save, right? Um, using thread local, I mean for the parallel execution purpose, right? Then you can talk about the utilities, right? Where you can talk about few utilities like uh, configurator utility, screenshot, right? Test data reader, right? Whatever the utilities that you are using in your particular framework, right? Then you can talk about uh, tests, uh, like the test section where you'll be defining the test classes. Then you can mention about uh, different test classes you're using. You can talk about the OOPS concept like polymorphism if you're using, right? If you're using the concept of overloading, overriding, inheritance, right? Interfaces you are using. So you can talk about all those things if you are using it in your test automation framework in the test section, right? Then you can talk about listeners where you can talk about I test listener. You can talk about I annotation transformer, I retry analyzer, right? And one more thing uh, that is important is reporting, right? So sometimes I notice like people go haywire and they forget mentioning about reporting right so reporting is the very important part because when we are testing something then reporting become important you can talk about the assertions as well like which assertions you are using in your framework right so this is how you can define the different packages right and along with defining the packages you need to tell like where exactly you're maintaining the different packages like for example if i go back here so we are maintaining uh, the pages in src main java driver manager in src main java right so this will give the confidence to the interviewer that you are very well aware, right? And you haven't just read it, right? Now, uh, coming to other tips, right? Then you can talk about the SRC test resources section where you can talk about that, which type of test data you are reading, uh, like how you're using the configuration dot properties, right? And then comes one more important part is how you are executing your test cases. So generally we can execute it through testng.xml. We can right click on class and we can execute from there as well, right? And how you are integrating your testng.xml with Maven with the Shofar plugin, right? So this also you can mention here. Then you can talk about reporting separately, like um, where exactly you're maintaining or which type of reporting you're using, how it is configured, how you are custom. You have customized it, right? From where you can customize it, right? Then at last, you can talk about the key features like parallel execution if you are supporting, right? And failed test case execution, uh, like retry mechanism using ID try analyzer, right? This is what you can talk about. Some advanced feature, like if you have integration with test management tool like Jira Jafar, Jira X ray, or Test tail, you can talk about this. You can talk about headless execution, different browser support. If you have cross browser parallel execution, right? Uh, if you have like like different features you can talk about here like how you're handling the things or and what are the key features right and at last you can talk about cicd so in case you're using cicd and this is the demand in the market that test automation engineers should be able to utilize cicd to execute the test cases so if you will explain this part then interview will definitely get the confidence so i would recommend if you haven't worked on cicd go through cicd try integrating your suits with like CI CD tools like Jenkins or GitLab, right? So here you can talk about which CI tool you're using, how do you execute your test cases, right? Where do you execute your test cases, right? People are generally confused, like um, they, they do mention what is CI CD, what is pipeline, but then not sure like where exactly the execution takes place, right? So this is how we can explain a test automation framework during the interview. And this is what I want you to cover, guys, as part of current dis discussion. In the next lecture, we will try to understand how we can explain a cucumber based framework right so thank you once again and i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again